Hi guys, welcome back to Queen's Yummy Paradise. How are you all doing today? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you all for joining me. If this is your first time joining me, thank you. I do hope you go ahead and hit the notification bell and subscribe to this channel, okay? And to my lovely subscribers, thank you for joining me. I love you so much. So guys, today we're making a bonus soup, okay? So I'm going ahead um, to blend my obono, okay? So to this obono, I'm going to add some oziza um, seeds. So guys, this is what this oziza seeds looks like, okay? It makes your obono taste so, so good. Alright, so I'll be going in with about two tablespoons or one tablespoon of that. We don't want it so overpowering, okay? So like so, this is what the quantity I'm going to be using, alright? So I'm going to put that into my obono and blend it. All right, guys, you need a very, very strong blender to blend the stuff, okay? Because it's very, very hard. So in my other food processor, I'll be going in with my onion and my um, 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 peppers, okay? I'm using scotch bonnet pepper, as you can see. All right, so I will just put that into this other one, and I will also blend that roughly, okay? Okay. So this blender really surprised me, okay, because I thought this was going to take about three to five minutes to blend, but this blended so fast, I was so shocked. This is my first time using it to blend um, a bonnet. Can you see how that looks? This was so, so, you know, seedless. I was wild by this blender. Can you see how? Can you see the texture it gave me? This was so, 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 you know, smooth. You know, I, this blender is really good. So, guys, if you want to purchase any blender, go for those giant kind of blenders. You know, they do a um, lot of, um, they make your, your work so easy, okay? They can blend anything anytime. <laughs> yeah, so and they're not even that expensive, okay? Okay, so guys, I will just go ahead and roughly chop my onion and um and peppers, alright? So slice on slice. Okay. Off. So guys, you wanna um always have this in your kitchen okay they are my go-to appliances in the kitchen because they never go wrong they make my job so easy can you see that see it's pretty right 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 <laughs> add my beef and my stripes okay well washed i also have my um cow um skin okay with beef on it okay i have my goat meat so that's what i'm gonna use to make this a bonus soup so I'll go ahead and season this and allow this to um come to a boil okay so that i'm gonna add my beef seasonings okay i have my chicken no cube as well i will just throw that so it will dissolve on this whole one so i have my beef seasoning i'm going in with about three of my beef seasoning okay Into that, I'll be adding in the scadron seasoning. Okay, about two tablespoons, guys. You want to make sure you, you know, season your protein very, very well. I'm gonna add my onion and um, pepper chops. Okay, butter. Just a little water okay give this a quick stir and bring this to boil okay if the water reduces go ahead and add some more water so guys this has been boiling for about 20 minutes with the same water so right now i'm going in with um my ogre okay yes you want to put your ogre right now into the beefs okay when you're making a bonus soup 
inside now the flavor is so good okay give that a stir yeah it's gonna dissolve so right into that i'll be going in with my stock fish okay and also i'll be adding in some catfish a dry catfish okay Okay, and we we'll allow this to boil. So we're gonna allow this to boil for an additional 15 to 20 minutes. So guys, we're back after another 20 minutes and this is what our stock is looking like, okay? <laughs> In another pot, I'll be adding in red oil, like so. Add in your onion and um, pepper into that and allow that to fry for about two minutes. Add in some crayfish. Keep frying that for about another minute. And then guys, I already have my uh, bonnet, okay? I put um, water into the bonnet, allowed it to rest, and this is what it looked like, okay? I don't know why most people go in with um, palm oil for that. I, I think it's too much of oil, so you could just do that with warm water, okay? And you will get even a better consistency, all right? So I added a little water because I don't want this obono to fry. Once you fry your obono, you're going to um, lose um, the, uh, you know, elasticity of that, okay? So we don't want it to fry. So I'm going to go ahead and like, just turn it, okay? I used a different pot for this because I wanted to fry my onion and pepper, okay? So after that, we'll just go ahead and transfer this into the beef, all right? okay guys guys you know we're always developing flavor in this channel so this is a better way now i'm showing you so whenever you want to cook your abana please remember the steps okay <laughs> you'll find out that you have a better um taste of your abana okay so go ahead and just give this a stir After that, we're gonna allow this to cook for about 10 minutes, okay? And after 10 minutes, guys, this is what our bonnet is looking like. I will go in right here with some mushrooms. So guys, I'm going to add in my banga soup spice. Guys, this spice, I don't like to miss it in my soup at all because I don't know what is in there, but it's it's awesome, okay? It's also I know it has oozes and other seeds inside, but it's really, really good, okay? So I'm going to allow this to cook for another four to five minutes. So guys, this is after five minutes and you can see our soup is well cooked. So right here, I'll be going in with um, bitter leaves. Yeah, bitter leaf is the best leaf you can ever use for your oven soup, guys.
So cook for another um two minutes and guys we are done. We are done. I hope you enjoyed us, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make my semovita, all right? Okay, so this is a quick way for making that semovita if you don't wanna keep staring and staring on your stove, okay? So my water is already boiled. I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, add this into my bowl. After that, you just want to put the quantity of some of it that you want. And guys, just stay that. So I already have water boiling on the stove. Just a little quantity of water, okay? So just go ahead with that stirred some of it, put that into the pot like this and cover it give it about three to five minutes and guys this is what you have okay so you see how soft it is right now go ahead and keep stirring this it's not gonna take so long okay so guys as you can see everything is just coming together on its own and you know that we are done that was so easy and this is the way i make my semivita it's so good it saves me time i just go ahead and scoop that into the plate like so and you're done guys so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed my video guys give this a thumbs up do not forget if you've not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscription button and you will not be disappointed until i come your way guys take care have fun and keep being beautiful okay god bless you Bye bye